Camping is a favorite activity of many venture seekers all over the world. However, this hobby comes with a major concern, getting a good night's rest. And when it comes to sleeping under the stars, two options are usually available, the bedroll vs sleeping bag. So, which one of these two options should you go with to help you out? We've decided to take a brief look at the advantages and disadvantages that come with using a bedroll and a sleeping bag. We've also added a video here covering all the details to make shopping for one of these options a bit easier. So, let's get started. What's a bedroll? In simple terms, this is just a durable outer layer that can be used in two ways. You can either lay your sleeping bag on top of it or put it inside of it. Bedrolls are typically made out of exceptionally durable materials that are, in most cases, coated with a waterproof finish. Due to this, they easily withstand deadly wear and tear and successfully protect one sleeping bag. Pros of using a bedroll Easy to roll up and store away Easy to carry in a bag Made out of tough, durable materials You can make one by yourself Cons of using a bedroll Offer minimum insulation and comfort Can be quite pricey Best bedrolls If you're on a budget Your best bet is to make your own bedroll out of some tough, waterproof fabric If you, however, want a premium quality bedroll for your next outdoor adventure Check out these models Montana Canvas Outfitter Bedroll this bedroll is a phenomenal choice for the long summertime camping trips and a long-term investment you certainly won't regret making. Duluth 83 inch pack bedroll is a canvas bedroll that comes with an insert for the user's sleeping bag. Montana Canvas Outfitter Bedroll Just like Duluth's popular model, this bedroll is also US-made product. It comes together with a durable tarpon, as such, is one of the best options for folks looking to protect their sleeping bags from rough terrain. What's a sleeping bag? When it comes to sleeping under the stars, no tool is as commonly used as the sleeping bag. Although they are available in a number of designs and styles, most backpacking sleeping bags wrap around the user's body to trap the body heat. For insulation, a sleeping bag will use either a down or synthetic fill, and each type of insulation has its strengths and weaknesses. Pros of using a sleeping bag Offer excellent insulation and comfort, soft and Body hugging inner layer. Advanced models offer many convenient extra features. There's a sleeping bag for everyone's budget. Cons of using a sleeping bag. Most models need to be compressed for transport, not as durable. Best sleeping bags. If you decide to get yourself a sleeping bag, you'll notice that the cost of a particular model typically depends on its temperature rating and the materials used in its manufacture. For this comparison, we've chosen two models that are guaranteed to keep you warm during your backcountry nights. Kelty Cosmic 20 Degree Down Sleeping Bag Kelty, one of the world's most famous sleeping bag brands, calls this particular bag a three-season model with a 20 f rating. It weighs 2.8 pounds and is 5'8 long and, as such, isn't the best choice for taller outdoor enthusiasts. Tenon Sports Leaf Mummy Sleeping Bag Just like Kelty, Tenon is a reputable outdoor brand that has a plethora of phenomenal sleeping bags on offer. Their Leaf Mummy model comes at a reasonable price. You won't have to break a bank to own a brand-made sleeping bag that will keep you warm and comfortable. It goes without saying that there are no two campers or hikers with identical needs. Therefore, it's impossible to say that a bedroll is a better choice than a sleeping bag, and vice versa. Comparing two strong competitors is not just an easy task. However, we've done a little. But choose yours one according to your preferences. This video is just a help over the topic. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching till the end.